Hello my movie geeks, this is the Ultimate Movie Geek here. I'm just doing this little lazily, badly edited intro to say that we recorded the uh, podcast last night straight after Ready Player One. So it's a little bit all over the place. It is mostly just a review, but beware, there are some minor spoilers. Um, I have taken out one that I accidentally spoiled, so that's gone. But just beware that there are spoilers for like uh, references and uh, cameos that appear in the film. Um, it's all right; it's all about halfway. But just just beware. Go see the film first, and then come back and watch this. Man about a dog podcast. We've just seen. What have we just seen? Ready Player One. <laughs> <laughs> was that memorable? It, it was good. Um, go on, you you were saying. No, I was just saying. I, 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 <sighs> It starts and there were just the bits that you've seen. That I don't want to spoil it for you, no. but I mean, it's like uh, every person who's ever been in a movie in the eighties, yeah. you saw at one point. Um, it was. I found as well. I was tr I was looking out for stuff, looking it, beyond them. Yeah, but you, it's so fast. Yeah, that you can't focus on some of them. I think the three D as well doesn't help either. No, you've got to watch it just with the four K and the two D yeah. to be able to catch what's in the background quicker. Yeah. Because the 3D brings them out, and it's just... But it's, it's that 3D that adds depth, isn't it, rather than brings yeah. it out of the screen, so... It's it's funny, though, but... Um, like I read the book before we saw it, and... It goes right off. Mm. Right off script. And I don't know if that's going to be a like of the fans I mean, of the book, but... It's like, the, the thing about... I haven't read the book myself, which is... I find amazing, because I love reading. <laughs> um, but the fact is, is the book... Less about film and more about computer games. Computer games, games, whereas Spielberg has put in every cliche that you can ever Everything. see. Every cliche from every genre of movie. You know what I didn't see, and I want someone to point it out to me. Where was Indiana Jones? Uh, Unless Lucasfilm didn't give him permission. Yeah. I mean, we mentioned Millennium Falcon. Yeah, there was an R2D2 uh, thing at the Esk, end. Yeah. It, it was, was Halo. It was. There was Batman, wasn't it? a couple of Batmans. There was a lot of DC yeah. stuff because it's Warner Brothers. So yeah, well, we, we, you saw everything. Harley Quinn getting thrown out. Yeah, there were the several Harley Quinns though. Yeah. There was how many Halos was there? Oh yeah, that 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 stood out to me because it was like all those people are dressed exactly the same. Now the Oasis is supposed to be like individuality. Yeah. So why are they all dressed the same? Well, it's like street gangs. It's um, like wearing the colours. Yeah, so I, that, suppose, I mean, it's yeah. like uh, the clans. Yeah, like That's high five saying. or it is. Yeah. It's the, they become clowning up. All right, it? all right. I'll let that one slide. Yeah. But um, I'm not a big fan of who's the guy who plays Holiday. Oh, I can't remember. He was in uh, Dunkirk. What the the one who's the the baddie in no, the good, one? No, the good the, the the guy who made the Oasis. Um. Oh yeah, he's the he's that actor's meant to be the best actor in the world. The one who won yeah. the Oscar. Yeah. Um, can't remember his name. I don't really like him, but in that. I really liked him. <laughs> <laughs> but he's such a, a character actor, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, he, he's, is. he just yeah. falls into it. Yeah, it was... Uh, they did a lot of stuff. The, yeah. They changed the book so much that I wasn't thinking, that's that's not very good, but, is it? But is he, has he done it? I, I personally think he's done it because he, who he thinks is going to be watching it yeah. are not as much video players as people who go to the pictures. Well, yeah, the and it's, it's the ones they're going to see of that. I mean, my favourite one was Iron Giant at the end. You know. Yes, yeah. Uh, we're doing hand signals here because we don't want to give spoilers. <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted, um, yeah. They, they got Vin Diesel. Yeah. As well, which is quite, yeah. <laughs> quite good. No, it, it, it was good. Um, I thought that they tr they kept the uh, the work the real world quite uh, set, separate set mm -hmm. and and you you're in the oasis and it's it's, it's a computer game so it's all CGI everything sparkly is nice and then the, the real world they have to use CGI mm -hmm. but it was so dull that it it actually looked real quite real mm. compared and and it's quite hard to have that you got the real world using the CGI and then you got the over yeah. the top oasis. Well, I, I, it's like the, the one thing I hate about CGI, it's like when they, especially superheroes, is that the, the, the bodies just don't bend right. They yeah. don't, and they, they rubber it doesn't work. Yeah. Whereas in that, because most of it was a structure, and yeah. the thing that they're doing was brilliant. I mean, it's, it was like a. Uh, 
I'm trying to think of a movie that wasn't mentioned. I mean, Beetlejuice was in there. I yeah, remember seeing Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Yeah, uh, was, Alien. Yeah, Alien was that was a fun. That was funny. That was that, funny. But, that yeah. Um, which called the the mayor of Back to the Future. Yeah, the picture yeah, on the, on the, the back. The yeah, the wall. Because me and you saw it at the same time and we were laughing. <laughs> yeah. Christ. It was it was really good. That it's. I just want to know. All the references. I wonder how long, how long it would take would someone to yeah. go through every single frame just to find the references. Every egg. Yeah. I mean, does he think he knows every it? Easter egg? Yeah. I mean, the thing is, you don't even know if he knows everyone himself yeah. because the CGI guys might just stick Throw one something in. in. Yeah. I'd hope someone did. I yeah. hope someone put the name in somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so if, you, if you connect all the people up yeah. and all that, instead of the numbers, it's got someone's name. But just think. That is a good marketing tool for like when they release the Blu-ray or DVD or whatever. Yeah. They could have so many Easter eggs within. Yeah. The, if you the can film. count them all. Yeah. It was, I, but I enjoyed it. And so, do you think 101 was Microsoft the Technopia, or are they taking it out of. Uh... <laughs> I just think it's. Uh, yeah. Bigger than Jobs. Big, I like yeah, that one as well. Bigger than Jobs, yeah. <laughs> but no, it, it was very good. Very, very Spielberg. Yeah. Um, the book is a lot darker mm-hmm. uh, to a point. And but you think the, the shining part? I the shining part. part. I was cacking yeah. myself. It was more scary than the shining. <laughs> it was I, great. And then they used the F word in a PG. It's, right is it PG? End? Is it PG thirteen? They're allowed to use one, aren't they? Oh, I could, I could, it was a right time to say it. It was I mean, great. It made me laugh. But it was just the the the, the shining made me laugh as well because yeah. the the avatar was so scary. Yeah. The CGI and that. Uh, what what I liked about that sequence was it just looks so crisp yeah and they had everything down mm. and obviously like spielberg was a fr- was, i think was a friend fan. of kubrick yeah. wasn't he so it worked oh, it was, it was yeah. great and that touches on the book as well yeah because the, in the book uh, do you no i'm, I'm going to spoil this for the book but one of the uh quests is yeah. that right one of the challenges is you've got to reenact a full film. Jesus. I know, and that's what I mean. The, the, the book is really outlandish, where mm. all these people are always hooked into this game, but they have the time to memorise movies, everything. They have the time to memorise everything. Mm-hmm. They've got no no real lives. There was more real life in this film. Yeah. Than the... But that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to break people out of it, weren't they? To yeah. try and... They said, that's what said. The only thing you can get in there is a, good, a decent meal. Decent meal, yeah. Yeah, it was good, though. Mm. Um, I liked... Simon Pegg's... I didn't even know he was in it. Yeah. He, he, he was good, but... Well, I knew he was in it, but I didn't know what he was playing. No. I, I had an assumption that he was the... That... Because it was too good. Yeah. He, he was helping him personally too much that yeah. he knew he was, like, a central character. But, um, no, it's... I, I mean... Yeah, it's... I want to see it again... Yeah. In just 2D. to look at things. <laughs> just to, yeah. Just to, again, try and look beyond the characters. I mean... The race at the beginning is so hectic. It's just it you is. can't you can't get everything that's you happening. Can't. And you know what, right? I, I didn't even realize it was Akira bike. I was thinking no, it was yeah, Troy. No, yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, it's funny because like I watched Duel before this, so Spielberg's first yeah. film, and then this. And you're going from a, a car chase film, mm. a, a thriller, to this massive race in that, and they're so different. The worlds apart. Yeah. And I know it's like in a computer game or a, a, a thingy world, but just the way it's all done, it's completely different. You know, when watching it though, when it was leaping from across and all that, it reminded me of Batman versus Robin with the chase against <sighs> Chase and Iceman. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying the fact is it just because it's leaping buildings and all that sort yeah. of thing. Whereas in this one, it seemed real because it's meant to be in a video game, whereas yeah. in the Batman versus Robin one, it was. Well, yeah, you let your. Because uh, you know it's where it's set. You let, yeah. it, you let it go, don't you? Mm-hmm. Just, you just accept that is the world. Yeah, Kong in. turns up tonight. Yeah, so, yeah T Rex turns up. That was up. great. The T Rex. Yeah. Say sounds from Jurassic Park. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just well, I want to count all of Spielberg's own references. Yeah, I, it looks like he's I didn't held see, back. The only thing I didn't see was Close Encounters. Close Encounters. Like, yeah. I was waiting for a <laughs> do, 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 <laughs> to come out at some point during the movie. Oh, uh, I didn't see ET either. No, which was, you'd have expected something. Uh, they just saw it in the Amblin thing yeah. at the beginning. That was about it. I, Chucky was in there. Chucky was funny. What yeah. was the one that blew him up at the end? Who? What was the mask? You know the, the thing that she threw in, the grenade that she threw in, and blew him up. 
Because it oh, like it's a, a toy. Pop? I'm not. I don't think we had it here. Is it the squeezy one with the ice pop? Yeah, I, but it's from a long time ago. I don't yeah. know if we get them now. <laughs> I'm not too sure. You squeeze it and the guns come yeah. out. But I mean, I, I love the music. I mean, yeah, it, the, the it opener. Is, you you chuckle to yourself. Yeah, it's, you? my, it's, my, <laughs> it's my era. That's the thing. It's yeah. all the '80s music. But I mean, yeah, John Hughes movies. John Hughes uh, movies. Well, that's that's another one of the challenges from the book. I think. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's no, but I oh yeah, enjoyed it, and I thought yeah. it's it was good. The it's kind of like you know how we challenged that. Well, we didn't challenge ourselves. We we challenged Spielberg a few months ago in uh, one of the podcasts, mm -hmm. and we were like, Indiana Jones again. Five is coming out yeah. soon. He's doing that next, and uh, maybe Ready Player One will will show we, us what we uh, yeah. we're going to expect. The better juices. Maybe um, that's why he's, he's kept all his. his which yeah, one back. back? Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't want to get through. Uh, show his hand. I don't want a full CGI Indiana Jones though. <laughs> no, well, no. It, I'm back on board the, the family-friendly Spielberg train. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I like Stranger Things. I think that's a brilliant series, yeah. and really enjoyed that. And um, but no, it's just it's. It, I mean, I la I, two nights ago I watched Lady in a Van. Right, yeah, Alan yeah. Bear. I would say that to you. I'm watching this two totally different films, yeah. but two totally enjoyable movies for totally different reasons yeah. and that is that the only the all the only slight slight problems i was hoping for a more a feast for the eyes I, I mean, oh that, yes i, know I just you wanted something to come out grab me by the eyeballs and just pull me into the screen you want to be in the oasis yeah i do <laughs> and it was just you want that suit that <laughs> yeah well, apart, apart from Touches getting kicked you. Kicked in the testicles. Oh, that was funny. Yeah, uh, it's 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 like um, it, to be honest, it was more it was like um, watching that rampage trailer beforehand. It was oh, yeah. um, Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> I just always felt like I was going into Wreck yeah. It Ralph. The games and this was a game for more the adults than the yeah, like the the kids when they when they did that. No, no, it was. I it, know what you mean. It was it was quite flat because yeah. everything was the same sort of it was tone depth. of colour yeah it was depth Nothing rather than coming out yeah stood out did it no i mean the, we, we both laughed at the star trek flowers I, I think that was just a perfect well the star and the torpedo he was in yeah. the spock's torpedo yeah. which i where was uh where can you get one of them no where was the bagpipes yeah come on uh, you could have had it in there i, 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 think, I think simon Pegg wrote that bit yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he I'm didn't, gonna, he didn't get it in there. Steven, yeah. Steven, get his pen. <laughs> He's done well for himself, hasn't he? Simon oh. Pegg, for uh, God's sake. Sorry, I almost swore then. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, Hot Fuzz. Yeah. It is a perfect movie. It, it is. is the perfect movie. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I mean, you get a. He's now doing bigger and better things, but yes. I mean, most of the, I've not seen a movie that he's been in that I don't want to see again. Yeah? Mm hmm. I'm trying to think of one. You're trying to think of one. I now. am trying to think of one. Um, that one with David Schwimmer. I haven't seen that one. Thank you. Have you not? No. It's all right. It's a bit, bit depressing. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I, I even watched which call it again? Uh, Man up. Oh, you know, I don't think I've seen that. No. <laughs> I might have watched Man up twice. I quite enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, no, it's it's he's. I mean, he is funny. He's he is, uh, yeah. he's, he's clever, isn't he? Yeah. His wig is great. I mean, yeah, his, his selection of wigs is turning. It's like, it's like t second Elton John. Yeah, he could probably do that. Actually. Yeah, that's his he could next, probably pull that off. His next trick. Yeah. Oh no, uh, Ready Player One is um, quite a good. Yeah, I recommend quite a good it. Film. I would recommend. Yeah, mm. I'd go see it again. Go, but the thing is, we just pick movies that we go and see. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, that's it. You, th you think it was a hobby? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. We, we, we make it a chore by sitting in the car afterwards. <laughs> Just make Trying it a to chore remember stuff. By sitting in the back bloody row and his bloody tiny seats. I'll change the rows next time. No, oh, no, damn no. no. Uh, Infinity yeah. War's already booked. Oh, Infinity War's, yeah. Oh, and the I, Deadpool trailer. Yeah. Now, you know what? Um, it was the first Deadpool trailer, so yeah. that was fine. Have you seen the second one? No, I'm not. No. I actually have. Yeah, I have. You have. But... I didn't like it. I thought it was too much no it was too too fox too, no not fox i think yeah it's yeah, not too fox, fox yeah. yeah too x-men if that makes sense well are they going to bring him in 
to try and make X-Men, you know, actually make some money. Well, they're in X-Force, aren't they? So. Yeah. Well, they've got that, what, it's the horror one? Is that the the New Mutants? Do, oh, do you not know? It's been pushed back. Yeah, you said it's pushed back to what, two years, was it? 2019 now. 19 and next so year. has uh, uh, Black Phoenix, no. Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix. That's been pushed back to next year. Is it? I thought yeah. it was all out in November. So, but I mean, Legion does brilliantly. Yeah. Have you ever seen Legion the TV series? I haven't, but I've heard good things. Oh yeah. I'll oh, get on it. Get on. Uh, I'm, st honestly, I'm still only two episodes uh, into Jessica Jones. I haven't started Jessica Jones. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just oh, no. Hey. It's it. There was for three D. That, that's the one problem I always find with three D. You can't see all the screen yeah. all the time. Yeah, I know what you mean. The problem is tonight's showing was the only showing. Yeah. And it was 3D. No, for some it's reason. not. I, no, I wanted to see it in 3D because I was hoping for this yeah. physical spectacle. Well, you, you I was thought. hoping for something like Avatar. Yeah, you, know, you would have thought that he would have done that. Yeah. Maybe even just, you know, just thrown a few things in there. Mm -hmm. Like the uh, Star Destroyer in, in Force Awakens that yeah. came out of the screen. That, that was amazing. That, I mean, that was, was great. Just... Yeah. That, that's one of the only 3D moments that I've actually loved. And you went, ooh. Nah, yeah, it was just like, <laughs> whoa, it's in my face. But I mean that it's like because but that that should do that because the the, the whole yes. the first two minutes of the original Star Wars when that destroyer comes over you and oh, just yeah. keeps going and going and going you go yeah <laughs> wow and the sense of scale that's that's I mean that's the one thing about the Last Jedi it's we're going on to the last Star Wars we? oh it's Star Wars but now it's just oh <laughs> bigger bigger ship oh it's a bigger ship oh it's a bigger ship yeah oh, yeah right. Well, that's it. It's, you, you, bigger and bigger is better. Bigger yeah. makes more money. It's not America. <sighs> it's uh, no. But I, I would have loved to have seen the Millennium Falcon in there. Yeah. If you said, you've got the Millennium well, that's Falcon. It, it? They didn't give him permission to use anything like that. Yeah, but he used the name. They used the name, but you can you can drop. You just say Millennium and Falcon. Yeah, at the, the same, same time. Thing. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's well, the only Star Trek uh, ship we saw was the Enterprise made out of flowers. The Enterprise. So <laughs> it's like, oh. like uh, but again, yeah, there were so many other thing, other people they could have put in. The thing is, that's my funeral now. Oh, oh, <laughs> he's just spoiled it for me. Sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll you know, no, if, if I'm there, I'll, I'll no, bring one. I, I just, I'm, I'm gutted now. Yeah, uh, but no, it's like you could have had, you could have had Captain Kirk. You could have had a load of like red shirts have, getting killed. You could have because that'd be seventies. Or 60s. Wait, well, don't matter. It, it's not yeah, just it's, 80s. Well, no. It's ma mainly 80s. No. You could have. You could have. I mean. Well, why was he buried in Star Trek? Because that was the 80s movies. Damn it! Yeah, you're right. So, but no. But it was. It did because he was from yeah. that era, and it was 80s was mm. what he focused on. Yeah. In. So it was the that was the, the Star Trek movies, but yeah. I mean. Ah. Uh, yeah. No. I it, love the Terminator one. I love the Billy. The um. The Back to the Future. Yeah. King Kong was superb. It was stories. really good seeing him yeah. hanging off the building. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think what other ones are like. Batman. There was a couple of Batman ones. So many good. Batman ones. Yeah. Yeah. It just annoys me more now. Wait, come on. Superman. I suppose we can't really say any more about that, can we? But where was Superman? Uh, he was the baddie. No. <laughs> where was Superman? <laughs> If I had access to the Oasis, I would probably be Superman for a day. Do you know how much DC Comics I was watching the other day? How much DC Comics paid for the rights to Superman? A lot. A hundred and thirty dollars in nineteen thirty-eight. So a lot. <laughs> yeah. For the rights to Superman. Could have got a last. The second, the second best superhero after Batman. Oh, get lost. Yeah. I know. I know. Wow. Well. But, no, I'm trying to think what other ones. Chucky was in there. You yeah. enjoyed the Chucky bit. The Halo Turtles. bit was pretty good. Turtles was funny. That was quite funny because yeah. you saw who was actually playing. Doing it outside, yeah. yeah, the kids. <laughs> you knew they'd be able to have no kid there. The only thing, I mean, that, that guy seems to be everything. The, the, the lead guy. Is he taking over from, like, um, uh, the guy who was in Indiana Jones 4? The one I... Oh, uh, who are you on about? Yeah. Um, um, what was in Holes and... Uh, I robot and uh, Christ, the one that's in oh, that covers his face as he goes out nowadays. Borg Marken always in as well, which I really do like. Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, oh. I don't know who you're on about. Um, it was in Transformers, the first three Transformers. Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. It just seems to be that he's taking over from Shia LaBeouf. The it's guy cool. from Rogue, Rogue One. Um, Summit Mendelssohn. Mendelssohn. The bad guy. 
No, no, who are you on about? I'm talking about the young guy who was like oh, the, the Cyclops. Main... Yeah. Oh, the main guy, yeah. Yeah, because he's like Cyclops and, and well, he's always playing this sort of, you know, <clears> slightly <throat> edgy. Yeah, well, you always find that if you get in with Spielberg, yeah. you do a load of films. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, well, maybe yeah. he is the next one. Because he's got the X-Men film yeah. next, next year. Franchises. As well. Yeah. Because I'm sure we fought a few of them after Dark Phoenix. Yeah, and there's a... Uh... I think it, uh, the writer of the book is doing a sequel to this. Yeah. So if it's set... 90s next? For the Maybe. Game 2? Game 2, yeah. Well... So that's what I liked. If you press that button and say, you have completed, now start level 2. <laughs> that would have yeah. been brilliant. That, that, that would just, be cool, actually, yeah. Just yeah. press the button, level Don't 2. Don't press the button. Yeah. And if you press the button, he comes back and by level saying, two. yeah, <laughs> now you've got to fight for it. It's up for grabs again. Yeah. But that's how I thought the book started out because the book is him telling you the story mm -hmm. and uh, it's the main character he's like and then one day a name went on the board and that name was me and he went into it and it's kind of like it's his easter egg yeah. talking to you like he's lived his life and he's finished and they still made a decent movie out of it I think so <laughs> I'm not you know I'm not reading it I'm mm -hmm. just remembering it <laughs> But, uh, no, the, yeah, I thought it was a decent little movie. Mm. So. No, I enjoyed the movie. It was just the book just seems a bit weird. I'll and let you in on a secret. I you read the captain. Oh, you, <laughs> you read the captain. <laughs> I listened yeah. to it. Um, read by Will Wheaton. Oh, <laughs> my, my last couple of books. I've just read uh, The Last Memoirs of Roger Moore, <laughs> which was quite funny. Some of the things he was saying. And, uh, yeah, it's just the biopic of Ron Jeremy. That was quite interesting. All <laughs> well. oh, right. Yeah. I bet that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. But, no, it's, um, yeah. I want to see it again in 2D. Yeah. I want to see it, and I want to try and count, but I know I'll fail. You know, there's you need, no you, way you, you need like it. a clicker yeah you know, you just click it you'd have you to something. do it like minus two as well it'd have I to know. be slow motion oh uh, uh, but yeah you're right the standout uh, well i think the standout was the shining mm -hmm. but i wanted yeah. to see a face though i wanted yeah. to see when he was walking yeah. i wanted to see that but no the twins were good <clears> that. <throat> yeah mean, they were they, they didn't have the, the little kid on the the trolley no the ca was the carpet right i don't think the carpet was right it looks all right to me but I, maybe, that's maybe what maybe I was it was looking a bit newer and brighter rather than yeah because that other one looked in the shine looked a bit you know, i want to know what they did i want to know if they reset it and yeah. did it from scratch the hotel or and then superimposed CGI'd the characters mm. or did it cgi or used footage from the the, the film mm. and just tweaked it a bit it was it was so good yeah, I was frightened. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I heard I you say, "Oh God, shit!" <laughs> you know, I choose one word in a PG theater. Yeah, hey, uh, oh, that was hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was expecting the the axe through the door, but not door. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah. maze. Stay out of the room. Yeah, it was great. But I mean, yeah, the the torture and how much how much debt you can get into and. Uh, yeah, that they go into more detail in the book, but it's it's interesting to because mm. you because they say that you work, but you never really pay yeah. it off, and you're there until you die. Modern slavery. <laughs> yeah. But what did he get out of it? Get who? What 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 money did he get out of it? I mean, how can they earn money doing that? That's not just trying to work out. Um, the, yeah. If well, we can work that out, they don't explain be, it in the film. We could be millionaires, can yeah. we? Yeah. It's like I suppose it's in, in game purchases. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. So this is what Steam is going to become in Microsoft Probably. and PS4. Well, they did, what did they do? Recent was the Star Wars game, wasn't it? Battlefront 2. They were adding uh, pay for mm -hmm. stuff in the game. And then people kicked off, so they, they pulled it back. <laughs> well, it's, it's, like, so it's things like um, Candy Crush. These are the biggest games in the world, aren't yeah. they? Say, well, it was only 69p to do Set Your Lives. Yeah. Oh, 69p. But how many, how many times do you do it? How many times you do it? It yeah. adds up, doesn't it? What, they, 3 they, they million the, yeah. people a day just adding 69 And then you've got the free versions that have adverts, so yeah. they're, they're raking it in that way as well. Mm. Oh, we're in the wrong line of work. Yeah. <laughs> we need oh, to start too, oh, too old. Too old to build one. 
We need to find some clever kid to get him to build it. <laughs> Margaret's son Ben, he just he 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 creates games. I'll have a chat with him. All right. Yeah, and apps, <laughs> games and apps. Let's see what we can find. Yeah. We'll build build the uh, movie geek app. The movie geek app. It's good. Yeah. I'm just gonna be a little picture of your waistcoat. That's all it is. This is gonna be app <laughs> avatar. I, I don't know why I wear I was thinking about this in the toilet. I was like, why do you wear a safari vest to the cinema? Every time. It's Every you, time. It's, it's so because... Keep, so you can keep your sweets in the Because I'm going to... On an adventure. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping so. Well, everyone, everyone's an adventure. Doesn't matter what sort of adventure it is. Yeah. It's just... If you can lose yourself, which I did lose myself a couple of times, The Shining one particular... I don't yeah. want to go back to that. I was in that room. And yeah. I was... With that, that, <laughs> I couldn't use... Like, Hello, lady. You know... You knew he was a wooden before. Yeah. But well, Oh I'm getting in. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, What? <laughs> oh, it's great. It's yeah. Don't good. Press that button. Don't yeah. press that button. <laughs> oh Christ. dear. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um yeah, it's a good adaptation. Mm. And I think Spielberg's oh, I hope I hope to God he's back on it, but I just hope that he just eases up on the CGI for when it yeah. comes to Indiana Jones. I, we, we don't need CGI bugs or anything. Just do what you did yeah. in the 80s and, and just don't, hire don't. Sh- and put loads, loads of people them. and put them in there. Yeah. Just... But the, see, the, the Indiana, Indiana Jones 4, it just seemed... It's like the fight seemed, seemed to go on forever. Yeah. And they didn't need to. And um, like that one, we were going through the jungle before they got to the ants. Oh, yeah. <gasps> it was. It was dull. It was mm. boring. And then the, the rubber snake... Yeah. Oh, don't make well, it actually, the one I didn't well. like was which call in it. You know, the um, what, there's all the betting nowadays out of um, Ray Winston. No, Ray Winston. no, I hated him in it oh. as well. Jonesy! It's like shut up. Yeah. I get it's it's like you don't have to. It doesn't have to be the custard pie in the face no. every single time. I mean, I've said it before. Said it again. Americans do the best comedies yeah. in the world. Cheers. Uh, what do you call it? Frasier. Seinfeld. <laughs> I mean, they, they world renowned. You do not need to do constant slapstick. No, no, I agree. And and uh, Spielberg has said that uh, Last Crusade was his favourite, and that is more comedic. Yeah. Uh, he said that it was more rounded film. He, he enjoyed doing it and all that. Mm. But you're not going to be able to do it again. No. Connery's he's dead within yeah. the, the franchise, and he doesn't want to come back. You, you're not going to get that same setup. Yeah, and you won't get the witch cut. The, the fact was, it was son. And he was trying to get as him as yeah. a grumpy old man and him to. But, but it doesn't work. We don't want him to be a grumpy. No. We want him to be grumpy. Yeah. We want him to be grumpy. That's yeah, he was it. always grumpy. Yeah, that's it. But <laughs> it's like call it. It's. I mean, I mean, I still, I still my, it's still my Facebook thing. You know, it's not the years, it's the mileage, yeah, and it's I say okay. it all the time. Mrs. hates it when I say it. No, I think it's great. <laughs> when she, we, when she we hears do, it a lot more than you. <laughs> when we were doing the. Uh, the, the movie quotes, she was the one who, who, who put it up there. It was like, she was the first one there. Uh, oh dear. Yeah, it's, it's gone back to Indiana Jones again. It's like, yeah. we, we just can't leave it. Well, this, this, I mean, what's the next one? The next one's... What, film? Yeah, it's oh. going to be... Infinity Avengers. Wars in four weeks. Yeah, and then two weeks after that... What's after that? Deadpool. Oh yeah, isn't it? And, and then, then Solo. Solo the week after oh, that. Oh, there's so much to do. Yeah. You know what? I'm doing so much better than I did last time. I'm seeing more films this time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm actually being able to yeah. talk about them. Talk about them. I've got yeah. that. And Berlin. I've got Berlin. So, so it was a Berlin film festival. And I wouldn't mind if I just... I'll just, just drop in. Have you I'll, seen I'll me? I'm just going to yeah. out, yeah. I'll just, I'll just phone you and say, you're Berlin for a podcast. <laughs> I was just listening yeah, to the Berlin it. episode, yeah. Just record it and then yeah. we'll, we'll upload where, it. Where are you? Uh, I'm in a pub. <laughs> <laughs> I've just used a gun. Oh, Apparently dear. we're going shooting for the stag do. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, gun, we're, we're gun, guns and alcohol. That's a really good idea, isn't it? Well, we did it in uh, Dublin. Yeah. <laughs> it was after a really heavy night. So I was oh. like shaking, aiming. My brother was really good though. Yeah. <laughs> he got them all down. But uh no, so yeah, no, it gets it's, it's, a, it's a positive review, positive it is. film. I'd like to see it again. Um, bit underwhelmed in bits. Yeah, I know because you mean. I just want I wanted to be a mate. blown away. It's it's like Spielberg. It's it's like it's like what we were talking about with the the 
the death, the death, the, the Star Destroyer. The other yeah. one, Indiana Jones, that first opening sequence in Indiana Jones, he just walking up. It's just a silhouette, isn't it? Yeah. It's like silhouette. Oh. In and certain movies, just grab you by yeah. the bits. Well, that's it. It needs two minutes. minutes. If the first two minutes don't grab you, you're then you're gonna worried. have a bad mm. time. And that's, I mean, that, that that's what Star Wars. I think that's that built the whole franchise. Did, that first it? two minutes, yeah. it was just so nothing, and then a ship, a, a, a big ship, yeah, there, and then oh my god, there's an even bigger <laughs> one above it. <laughs> And it filled the whole yeah. screen. You can see that it was actually over the yeah. uh, overlap. But that's the, the it. Edges. Like you said, they need to get away from that. Yeah. They're not going to top that. Do no. something different. And but they I, said when they're coming out, they did. And the three D, the Force Awakens, yeah, fine, yeah. superb. And Rogue One, the the scale, the way they filmed the scale yeah. of Death Star was mm. was beautiful. They had the Star Destroyer and then the, the bloody the, I don't know what it's called, the gun. That went yeah. in, it was like oh, that the big, was the big circle thing, yeah. it was like the Cyclops eye. I, I, I rewatched uh, Last Jedi the other week, and I enjoyed the whole uh, light speed yeah. through the ship. That was still great. Uh-huh. The one, the one, I remember a quote, and I, I need to go back and watch it again to see about that. And it was um, the body before he killed him. This, I think it said the Skywalker. Is still out there now, and I I didn't know if he was talking about Luke Skywalker or Rhea because he says the the sky the Skywalker whatever it is is out there and you'll see it. It's he's just talking about when she goes to the planet yeah. when she escaped and um, I don't know if he's talking about Luke or that and that's I don't know I I, I think that again and get that quote just to make I sure think that. they think that he, he's still alive. I think there's going to be rumours about that. Luke Skywalker is still alive out there in no. the next one. No, I think mm. I, no, he's no, not but, alive. Mm. But I think people are going to think that he is. No, I, I think they'll know that she's the, the prodigy. But I think she he will definitely be back as um, an, an action of the force, like um, which got Yoda. Yeah. And Alec Guinness. Oh yeah, he'll be back. Yeah, that'd be great. Alec mm. Guinness. It'll be Obi Wan. It'll be uh, Ewan McGregor. Yeah. Unfortunately. Not unfortunately, it was all right. But... You had to deal with it. Unfortunately, you had to. But then again, if if we had Alec Guinness, it would be targeted, <laughs> C- wouldn't it? CGI'd. Bloody... Yeah. Why not get Liam Neeson back? Why not? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's old. He's old. He's he's still there. He's still yeah. fit. He's he fiddle. can still come back, can't he? Yeah, because he's the one that showed him how to do it in the first yeah. place. Yeah. Well, that ended abruptly, didn't it? That's because we were both getting texts saying, come home, it's too late to be out. <laughs> so we finished up. Um, so yeah, uh, that's our minor review of Ready Player One, and I hope you enjoyed it. I will come back with a full, proper review with real edits and visuals and whatnot. Um, and I want to do maybe a, a kind of a comparison between the book and the film, because the book... It's completely different to the film. It, it seems like the changes that Spielberg made for the film kind of improved the story. Um, one point is that I thought was uh, Parzival's uh, emotional connection to his aunt was quite good. And the fact that he actually seems to care when a big major plot point happens. And... In the book, it, it didn't seem like that happened. So I'm, I'm going to maybe sit down and have a think and, and get these, get, get a, a review and maybe a comparison review out at some point. You know, let me know if you want that in the comments below. Tell me what you think. Uh, thanks for listening. And we'll be back with another Man About a Dog podcast soon. And it's, yeah, please, I don't know. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See ya!